This is a really interesting question here at fence nine. So both the 90 and the 100 are coming from fence eight, which is the brush just behind me. And then fence nine is an AB, so two elements, and they have choice here. So coming from the brush behind us at fence eight, the 90s have got this first brush as 9A and the third brush as 9B. But the interesting thing here is they are going to be double flagged, which means they can jump them in either direction. So they've got a choice to make in terms of weighing up their options, where they're coming from and where they're going to. So they're heading to the wagon in the distance. So they could either come round and jump the brush going this way at A, and then a left-handed curve to the third brush, which will be 9B, and then an S bend back round to the wagon. Or they could jump this first brush coming towards me and then have a right-handed 180 to the third brush, which will be 9B, which in my opinion would arguably put them on a better line to the wagon at fence 10. And then for the hundreds, it's exactly the same question, but using the second and the fourth brush in this line. So again, they could either jump the first brush heading in that direction and then a left-handed 180 to the, to the fourth brush, the one on the end, which then is a little bit more of an S bend back to the wagon, or they could jump the second brush heading this way and then a right-handed turn to the far brush, which again, to me, just puts them on a slightly nicer curve to fence 10, which are the wagons in the distance. But a really interesting question and one that will undoubtedly get the riders thinking and about the pros and cons and what works for them and their horse best.